see how we go, job. But yeah, this can go up. We can lock it in place. So. So we're trying to go to the beach or to the... We're all ready for, be for bed. It is uh, 10 p.m. and it's still 29 degrees. Fridge is a bit warmer because... Hello and welcome. This is Andy, I'm Serena and together we're Right Foot Travel. Join us in our epic open-ended honeymoon traveling around the world. Hi guys, so since you saw us last, up north from Honshu, we made all our way down south. Now we're like Bivo again, to my friend Melissa again and her kids. And we have another mission here today. We need to get our cabinet in the car cut. So we came to a Home Depot or Bunnings called here. And the good thing about that is, if you buy something there, you can they have like a DIY pit. And you can use their tools for free. So that's what we do today. But the plan is, so the thing is, just before we left, so we heard a bag. And our bed was supposed to be up here. But because Serena couldn't climb up there, I had to change the bed last minute. So if we sleep now here, in this area, so the bed, I can see, seats fold forward. We lay on top of that, there's like a bed platform here, goes there. But the thing is, Serena's laying on the driver's side, and this is not long enough for her to stretch out. Which we kind of knew would be a problem, but we, we thought well, we could deal with it, but now we have to change it. So I have to cut the cabinet here, and go up. And this one here, I will cut as well, but I will put on a hinge so it falls down and falls up whenever we need it. So we don't lose any bench space. We put some storage up here, so whatever storage we lose here, these three, they will move up there. So yeah, we disassembled now all of this. So I have to empty this, take everything out here. And the thing is, well, I have to cut this drawer short as so the, the fridge has more space to brace behind it. So yeah. So that's how it looks like in here. Chaos, absolute chaos. Jesus Christ. So that's how it looks like behind you. If anyone's interested, water setup. So we got a water pump, accumulator tank. There's the air compressor, and here's that utility vent. So we got like the water. That's for the the hose for the air. And here we have that SLEC just connected 12 volt, so we can plug in a solar blanket if you wanted to. And here's for the shower, and the fourth one's not in use. Now all these pipes, they have a, run, a wire run through, so they heat up in winter, so they don't freeze up. So we'll see if it actually is effective or not. Leaving the old bar behind. Now we're going to make some more adjustments. A lot of fun starts, getting out of the heat. It is so hot, but it's not just hot, it's also extremely humid. So yeah, off to the little homeware store now. Hello. Off it goes. So these hardware stores, a not really a hardware store, it's kind of like a you can get everything basically but food. So there's like camping stuff here, there's air conditioners here, there's like hair products, cosmetics, pool stuff, and then some tools. It's like places put into one. I don't know how to really explain it, but um, yeah, they've literally just got everything here, which is kind of good, but 
because they don't specifically specialize in just hardware they don't always necessarily have everything you need so then you've got to start hunting around so we're all ready to go so pretty much you have to buy something here something small like you bought some brackets or whatever and then you can use this area here we can use the tools or whatever so first thing take these all out we unscrew the top the back plate take the door off the one cut along here cut these off so the plan is take this part just move it to here to make it a bit look, look a bit nicer After a couple of hours of mucking around, we finally may, may managed to get it done. Bit of a see how you go job, but yeah, this can go up. You can lock it in place, so it's kind of like same table. I had to cut this door shorter so that I've got more ventilation here for the fridge. Hopefully, that improves the performance. Put a couple of holes in the bottom, and that's all we've done. Let's go back to the car, put it in. Put uh, fix this chaos in the car and then finally have something to eat. It's like uh, three o'clock almost and we have n had nothing to eat. <laughs> it is 2.55 and not to mention it is 36 degrees outside with 82% humidity. Someone is getting hangry as well. Oh, I'm hangry as all hell. <laughs> She's just holding it in for my sake. Yes, I think I'm doing <laughs> a good job. <laughs> okay, peeps, let's go. This time we were smart enough to put the awning out so you don't get burned. Yep. So, oh, look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's quickly do this and then see how we go. <laughs> so, everything's back in. So, a bit of chaos in here. Gotta clean a bit more tomorrow, but oh, we are naked, eh? It is hot and humid. We spent like seven hours in the end in this hardware store but yeah, hopefully it's worth it hope serena can sleep a bit better now so main reason we did it so serena can gain about 25 centimeter of extra leg room when she sleeps we're on the way to the west coast to get to a beach and on the way to there we went to the akishodido caves and we'll see how they go they're only an hour and a half away from where we from our end destination so might as well check it out it was a tip from our old friend hiroshi so thank you <laughs> He's a happy chap, isn't he? Oh my gosh, another one. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Working for one of ice cream, you're in the right place. <laughs> I think so. And it's been stinking hot the last couple of weeks. And now one good thing is because the water's so cold every time you go over a bridge, it's like an air conditioning. I would love to put Harvey here and just camp here. Well, that sound of the cicadas you can hear there that makes it feel like 10 times 10 degrees hotter than what it actually is just that sound alone Ugh, makes you sweat
we made it to our campsite for the night because the last couple of weeks is hot, humid, disgusting. So the only way we can get a bit of relief in the car is going to a nice campsite like this. So we're trying to go to the beach or to the, to the mountains. This time it's the beach, but the other reason we are here is because it's near Fukuoka. That's where our ferry goes from Japan to South Korea. And we're going tomorrow to the port and trying to get a ticket for, because we would like to leave this week and see how this will go. So since last week's video, where we stopped in Hokkaido, made our way back to Honshu, we drove down the west coast, all the way down, stayed at the beach. Caught up late Bebo is our friend Melissa. We drove in Nagoya where the car got serviced. And now drove all the way down okay, uh, about here. That's where Fukuoka is. And as you see before on Black Bebo, that's where we did the modifications on the drawers as well or on the cabinets as well. Then yeah in Nagoya we left the car for three days to get it serviced. And because it's so hot and humid to be honest, we stayed in hotels a couple of times, but it just was not very pleasant in the car. And we drove a lot during the day and there was not that much to film. And the other reason why we didn't film that much is is this thing here. The GoPro can be very annoying, I must say. I had so many times now it just froze on me and or I film stuff. I put later the SD card in the computer and I have no audio. I have no idea why. I'm not sure, I don't think the camera or the mic will pick it up But there in this little forest area, there are thousands of birds chirping away So the sun hopefully sets between these two rocks, that would be an amazing sunset tonight It's still 32 degrees in the car And one, if you're wondering one way how we try to stay cool, this was lots of cold water Tonight, we're cooking pasta and the pesto. You think, Annie, why would you do such a silly thing, thing as cooking something hot on such a hot day? Promise, if when you go to South Korea, you don't want to bring too much food with us in case they say, oh, you can bring food in the country. Even if this is packaged food, so we'd rather eat all our food now before we have any problems later and at the border with customs or whatever. And every town will not cry, but gold. And you do not put past into cold water. So Serena had the perfect idea, I should use my hammock here. I'm not sure if she said that, so she has the whole car to herself, so I really can use my hammock. <laughs> but she's right, I should use the opportunity to say I got. Oh my god, it's so small! Oh, unfortunately the camera probably can't take it, but it's a hummingbird! Oh my god! It is? I think so. Yeah, it has a really long tongue. Oh my god, I've never seen one before! Oh, no, there's a moss. There's a moss. Fucking hell. Wow, that's pretty big. <laughs>
<laughs> there was a hummingbird. There. Oh shit. Okay. Huh? I gotta say, Japan has some weird ass, big ass insects. It's not a hummingbird. No, no, it's a moth. Oh my god. We're all ready for bed. For bed. It is uh, 10 p.m. and it's still 29 degrees. Fridge is a bit warmer because I had to put warm water in there. Or well, not warm, but in the tank. If you're wondering how we stay cool, Serena opened up all the windows everywhere because she sleeps alone in here. Mm -hmm. All the fans are open. I use some cooling body wipes. And then in Japan, you can get these cooling body wipes. I got this for the lady over there. And then there's one for the gentleman. So they have like a minus four degree cooling effect and it's kind of like uh, menthol. Yeah. They're menthol infused, so it gives you this cooling effect. They are okay. They're not bad. They give, yeah, take they, the edge off a bit, yeah. let's say. But yeah, we were surprised. But yeah, I will sleep in the hammock and there's a nice breeze outside. It's actually, it's getting cooler in here as well with the it's breeze, doesn't cooler. it? But I get this all to myself. Yeah. <laughs> I thought how happy someone is. She's, she's always happy when I don't sleep in the car. Isn't that weird? Space! <laughs> so, but yeah, as long as there's a breeze or as long as the fans are on you, it's not too bad actually. Even if it's 29 degrees. But yeah, that's the humidity during the day. That's what is the Killer. exhausting part. Which If you have it for like 10 days, it's kind of like, oh, we're over this. That's what we stayed in hotels as well. Yeah. Because we're on holiday as well and just couldn't be bothered. Why? is something we both don't like. Nah, yeah. I hate it. 